would you be happy if your children wanted to be actors? I'd be scared, I think. I'd be scared if my boy wanted to be an actor. Um, because he's sensitive and, you know, I'd fear for him a little bit. I think if my girl wanted to be an actor, I'd... I think I'd do what my parents did. They didn't really encourage me. Discourage me a little bit, and then if your child, you know, has the vision and the drive to cut through the lack of encouragement, then good on them. And, and that would apply for any kind of artist, I think. I read a funny line about somebody asked you that question, and you said if your son, something about if your son wanted to go, you'd ask him about if they wanted to be in theater or the movies. Remember this? Can you tell it, or do you want me to tell it? <laughs> it's more lie. fun for me. You do uh, apparently, someone asked a similar question to Mary Louise, and she said she would ask if they wanted to go into the theater. Oh no! I said, well, if you're going to tell it wrong, I'm going to tell See, it. See, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said if he said he wanted to be in the movies, I would tell him he had to go to a room. If he was going to be in the theater, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But I feel the same as Rachel. That my son is really sensitive, and I would worry. Because there's something more blue collar about the theater. There's something mm. more like a punching clock about going to the theater mm. at night and working with people it's working. and like it's hard work. getting a getting mm. a paycheck mm. and mm. Um, just I don't know like getting your hands dirty. Mm. And there's something there's something slightly perverse if you've never done theater that you know theater grounds you about just suddenly you know having your face out there and do. do I think you need to become a person first mm -hmm. by doing theater. If you just suddenly are a TV star, I don't know. I don't think that would be the best thing for someone with a personality like my son. We should get our boys together. Yeah, exactly. Okay. My daughter, I think, actually, oddly, might be fine yeah. because she's she's a different. She has a resilience that's different, mm. uh, uh, and she's more of a, a people person. <laughs> and I think she. Uh, I don't know. I think she might negotiate it better. Exactly. She could like circumnavigate her way through that the, that world in a way that I, I don't know my son might be. <coughs> Is it the rejection part or the fame potential being out when you see your face on? I don't know. It's things. all of it because you know there's a there's a great deal of uh, a lot of it is just kind of insubstantial. You know what I mean? A lot of it is uh, you go home and what did happen? You know what I mean? It's, uh, but you have a body, but it still it seems palpable to me. I mean, you have a body of work, you have a thing that you've created. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's a, the world is, um, there are a lot of things that surround TV and film that are just really, can be very dangerous and shallow for a younger person. And it's too, I, I think we all went into a different industry that we're now in. We, we all it agree. wasn't as, the media wasn't as salacious, mm. it wasn't as, you know. You never get used to that? To the, not the salacious, but just the being out there, being... No, I'm really glad I'm at the age I am and have the life I have. You know, it's, I, you know, I'm very uninteresting. <laughs> but if I were the younger, more sensitive, person that, yeah, you know, had more like boyfriends and, you know, was trying to get my life together under the spotlight, I would have found that very difficult. Yeah. But you're famous enough that if you did something in the YouTube era with, this, with cell phone cameras, if you did something ever so modestly inappropriate or whatever, it would be everything. Yeah, yeah, I mean it is. You kind of, you know, can't pick your nose without thinking that might be on YouTube. Right. But, you know, I guess it's probably good. <laughs> but I do like sometimes I'm like I'm like oh you know you are a little more hyper aware um, and just the promotional demands are bigger than they were and there, there's feels like the making you know is a shrinking part of what we do and the amplification of the making is a greater part and um, to keep that in balance where you really feel like the job is you making the work not all the other stuff is, gets harder and harder to, to you know.